Confessions of a Landlord. Today I am at the water department. <sighs> I like to keep it happy and positive and say all good things, but it's so hard with the Detroit Water and Sewage Department. The reason I'm here today, and maybe you would like to know that they don't give out their um, account numbers to people anymore. So my title company has said when they call to close on a house, they have to figure out how much the water bill is. If they call the water department, the water department won't even um, tell them the account number. So it's, it's really bizarre. I mean, so then there's no way to figure out how much is owed on the house and what are you supposed to do? And right now I'm buying a house from a bank and they're waiting for the real estate meter read, which happens in other cities, but in Detroit, I've ordered them many times and sometimes you get them, maybe a couple months later after you ordered it, sometimes, most of the time I don't. I think I've only seen one or two and I've been doing this for years. So you really can't count on that either. So then how do you find out how much the water bill is? The only way to find out is if you can get the account number, because if you go online to pay, you can't pay anything without an account number. <laughs> so I figured out a way. They have these machines, they're called DivDat machines. They look like, um, like an ATM and they're located in Detroit. And the idea is if you have a water bill, you can go in there and pay it. And they don't assume that people that own houses will know their account number. So with the DivDat machines, you just put in the house number and the account number comes up. But the catch is, and I, every time I go there, I learn new things. I swear they change all their rules week by week, day by day. <laughs> anyway, so the catch is that it only shows active account. So if you think you found the bill, think again. So when you go online, you have to try like that account number, but keep changing it a little bit and see how many other accounts there are because there's the original owner and then let's say a tenant moves in. So now there's a tenant account and let's say the original owner flips the house. Now there's a new owner account. Let's say the new owner flips the house. There's still the tenant account and now there's a third new owner account. And then let's say the tenant changes. Now there's two tenant accounts. I have seen up to six. They were telling me last time I was there, that's not true. We delete out those accounts, but I'm like, well, where do they go? You know, so that's kind of confusing. So I did find out with this one house that we're buying, I called, can you give me the account number to see if, is it really true? And they're like, no, we don't give that. I said, all right, will you just tell me how much I owed on this house? And it was like 800 something. And that's all they were gonna tell me, but I knew to ask, what about, uh, is there another? Yes, okay, how much is owed on that account? They're customer service people. Never mind. I'm going to keep it nice. <laughs> so I'm about to walk in there. I'll see if I can snap some photos. I highly doubt I can vlog in there. They've got security guards. You walk in. They search your purse. They've got three of them. One stationed by the DivDat machine. I've noticed that too where um, the county building there's a DivDat machine and they always have a, a security guard there. <laughs> I, don't, I don't understand it. <laughs> So, um, but you know, they make a lot of people angry. I do understand it. I do understand why they search your purse. They wanna make sure you're not in there, that you can't cause violence when they're very offensive to you. They're yes, not always. They've got their good people. Um, but most of the time I come away very, very frustrated. So we'll see how it goes today. I found this really great parking spot. By the way, if you ever come to Detroit, park on the street, it's only two bucks. Um, and I'm right in front of a strip club. Ah. And so here's where I parked Dream. And up here you can see live exotic entertainment. Very exciting stuff, I guess. I wouldn't know. So I am now home from the water department. Every time I go there, I come home tired. It's an adventure. But today I gotta say, it wasn't bad. Actually, it was really, really good. I happened to get a supervisor and 
she's a supervisor of a couple floors and she's the supervisor of the call center people. So I told her some things that I think might make things better. <laughs> I couldn't resist, you know, I'm like, yay. <laughs> it's like a kid in a candy store, look who I got. So I did talk about some things and um, I beat her up pretty hard, but then I thought, well, that's not nice. I better, I was nice about it, but I thought I better give some praise. So Detroit does deserve, the Detroit Water and Sewage Department does deserve some praise about how um, they have this landlord tenant program where the uh, water bill is truly attached to the tenant. So when I found out why do they not give, and, and that's a good program, the rest of Michigan doesn't really have it. And the other cities are saying, oh, well, we can't do it. We'd have to hire this whole new staff and the Detroit Water and Sewerage, Sewer Sewerage Department. Um, they've got like two people that are rocking it there and they get it all done. So don't even say that other cities. Um, so I got to tell this woman about that. She said, oh, it's so good to have something positive. So she will pass that on. But I did find out the reason that they don't uh, share the account number. So if you call and say, I need to pay this bill. How much is it? Well, do you have the account number? If you don't have the account number and you have the address, it won't work. So they said that the reason is because they've switched it to being attached to a name. So you have to give permission to give to get somebody else's bill, I guess. And I did mention to her that puts me in a really tricky position because I'm buying a house from a bank and it's bank owned. So how am I supposed to get permission? And then I got to thinking later and I'd say this to her, but what if the person died <laughs> or, or it's a disgruntled tenant or something? I, I don't know. But she was able to give me a print off bill. And then we got to talk about the um, real estate meter reads and she wanted names and addresses. And <laughs> she looked it all up and was taking notes and I felt very heard. So it was a very good day. And seems like maybe that program will turn around. Maybe, maybe I'm being too hopeful. But it was a good day there. So if you want to ever pay a bill online, I will give you the link below because it's a little tricky finding it and I've saved it in my favorites. Couldn't even tell you what it's called. That was my day today at the water department and I'm working at home this week. I'm normally in my office, but this week I'm working at home, spending more time with my children and I'm dog sitting for my brother's dog. So I'm not actually working because, oh, there's Juliet, see? I am the passenger in my car. I had to drop my daughter off at driver's ed, but we're early. So look what we're doing. She's gonna practice. All right, Lizzie, go. Don't take off like a, you know, roller coaster. I'm good at driving, so. So tell the camera all the places you've already driven. On um, the expressway. And how'd that go? Pretty good, actually. Yeah. And then downtown areas. Water. And Royal Oak is crazy busy. I okay, you're going really fast. 24, 25. Hey, 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 you don't need to go this fast. I got nothing to prove. All right. Yeah. yeah and um, what's happening today in driver's ed? I'm parking. Okay, there's no four-way stop. <laughs> Okay, keep your eyes on the road. She is. She's not even looking at me. <laughs> Juliet, what do you think? Is she doing well? Juliet seems awfully chill. I think she's pretty good. That's awesome. Tell them where you got started driving. Up north, my grandma. Um, I like age seven. Oh, that's true. But I kind of wanted to get some praise myself. Where? <laughs> I told her if she hits anyone, they're not going to say anything, you know. All right. <laughs> it's very quiet there. <laughs>